Hi guys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video we're going to be customizing Jellyfin for our own unique purpose and need and making it a bit more like Netflix. I recommend that you watch the previous three uh, tutorials uh, that I made with Jelly, uh, for Jellyfin and so you can easily follow along. And there's also another thing you can, if you want to read text only version you can all, I have a guide over on Reddit. But uh, uh, I recommend that you watch the video uh, because uh, it's easier to explain and you can easily follow along. The second thing, this is a new uh, this is a test server with uh, like a new beta release, so uh, uh, the images haven't loaded properly. So let's get started with the easy teeny baby step part. You can go into the user settings and under there from display you can set a theme. So Jellyfin comes with a few preloaded themes. I highly recommend the purple haze one and or the blue radiance. The, uh, they both are pretty good and as you can see it instantaneously makes a difference and it looks pretty nice. And uh, you can actually customize the subtitles as well. I'm fine with default but some people have to like to customize them so here you go. And uh, if you want, you can also use uh, CSS, custom CSS to make Jellyfin a bit your own. Uh, I'll have this page linked in the video description that has some ma a community made CSS like Jellyflix and as well as uh, a guide how to make your own. The second thing you want to do is head over into general uh, to apply it. You want uh, you want to head over to general and under custom CSS you want to paste the CSS that you made or either want. And above that you'll also notice something called a login display uh, claimer. You can add anything in there that uh, will come up on your login screen. So like this one, I just added a disclaimer, and as you can see, it comes there. Created by tech, contact me if you've lost your password. So the part this is part two, the intermediate steps. So in here, the first thing we're probably going to do is uh, head over into our dashboard and from there we're going to go down into our plugins. So we're going to go into requirements and add a few plugins that I will have linked in the video description. The first plugin that we're going to be adding is for the intros and other things. Uh, so basically we're adding a repository that contains it's like a catalog of plugins and we want multiple catalogs of plugins so I'll have all of these linked uh, in the video description you can add them by yourself and it's pretty easy so I've just added the first one and now we can add our second third party repository these are pretty easy to add and you shouldn't have any problem with them I'll make sure I have the links in the video description gosh I need to add a lot of links in the video description this time okay so uh, once that's done, we need to go into our catalog and we should, the new plugin should start to appear. This may take a second the first time you do this, so this is pretty normal because it's loading the new uh, plugins. And uh, there we go. There is our theme songs and there's the intro plugin. We're going to install that in intro plugin first because it is the best plugin. So we're going to install the latest version and install. Okay, uh, it may take some time depending on how fast your server is, but it shouldn't take more longer than like 10 15 seconds. So, after that, the second plugin that we're gonna get is uh, uh, let's see, um, let's go with this one the, uh, skin manager. So, you can easily like add the instead of like CSS. A custom CSS you can just choose uh, a, a, like some custom skins from here that uh, I highly recommend the Jellyflix one which is super great and makes it look exactly like Netflix so the uh, next plugin we're going to be adding is a theme song so you can type like have theme songs downloaded and listen to them while you're browsing the library so let's just install that okay and now uh, we're gonna need TV OB, uh, the TV B, uh, the TV database uh, plugin, I believe, for the theme song to work. So let's just uh, download that. Where is it? Uh, no, there we go. The TV BD, the TV database. It has stuff like all. Uh, it serves as a metadata collector, and you can actually use it to organize your media whatsoever. I don't know whatever you want so the next thing we're going to do is uh, going to we're going to restart our server so that we can type of like uh, we're going to restart the server so the changes that we made to the plugins can now come into play so i'm going to restart it 
so I've just restarted now and we're back so now we're gonna be adding a custom intro so I will have this intro made on Tanzoid in, in the link in the video description you can customize it I highly recommend it Search, uh, switch on the plain view and then play it you'll notice it's exactly like a Netflix intro and uh, if you head over into objects and from there you can edit uh, the text to make it up like whatever you want. I'm gonna go with Techflix, and if you play it back now, you notice it uh, looks exactly like the Netflix logo. Uh, intro. So there we go. We've had it. There may be slight lags uh, because I'm recording this as well, so it won't be rendering in real time. So now let's just download and render it, and it should start. It may take some time, and there we go. So I'm gonna be creating a custom folder for this so that uh, I can easily like add that folder into my. Uh, uh, gel into the interest uh, folder so I'm just gonna name it intros or something I don't know let's just put it in there and drag our file into the plugin and uh, let's uh, just call it flix so we're gonna copy that path we're gonna put it into our uh, interest plugin as another slash and flix dot mkv perfect so let's click on save Okay, uh, so let's head over, uh, go home, and let's open the movie. Perfect, it plays perfectly. Now we have a custom intro that will play every time. And now the second thing you want to do is enable the theme songs again from the display. And uh, now if you open a TV show, I'm going to be open, let's open Gravity Falls. Okay, let's try Alex Ryder. Uh, let's try a children's show like Curious George, okay. Oh, Please fine, good. So let's uh, head over to the advanced part. So the first thing you want to do, we're going to head over into the install directory of Jellyfin, that is program uh, uh, C drive, program files, and uh, Jellyfin. From there, I actually have a media player installed as well, a custom media player that I made, so uh, you won't have that other folder. Now you want to head over into Jellyfin Web. Is there anything here that's perfect now? Let's just head over into Jellyfin Web, and from there you want to go into Assets and Image, and from there you want to take these two images, Banner Light and Banner Dark. If you take these two, and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to put them on my desktop, and... Yeah, actually, you know what, let's actually skip this first and then copy it uh, using that. Okay, so I'm going to be using Pixlr to edit this because it's really easy and I'm just going to add some custom fonts and gradients. And uh, there we go, it should work. I'm going to put it back into that folder and this is the end result. It won't win any graphic design awards, but it's okay because I did it in a hurry. The second thing we're going to do, I actually have this linked down in the uh, guide, is that we're going to actually be renaming the title. You know the thing that comes in the tab bar, we're going to be renaming that. It's Jellyfin, but we don't want to give it away that we're using Jellyfin. So we're probably going to be renaming this as something like Techflix or etc, etc, I don't know. So we're going to go into the program files, Jellyfin, server. We're going to be looking for a file dot main dot something something bundle JS in Jellyfin web, sorry. So this should be main dot, it will be different, dot bundle, something, something, I'm going to open it up with notepad plus plus, you can open it up any in any file editing software. So uh, go into that guide, I'll make sure to have that link in the video description. You want to copy that link and from there you want to head over into your notepad plus plus or any other and search for that. So there we go, uh, find next and there we go, it found it. So Oops, I'm gonna have to find it again, haven't I? Okay, find next, there we go. So from there, you want to, uh, you can, we're not gonna be adding a custom link, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can set up Ombi, so make sure you're subscribed for that, uh, so that you can handle requests. You can add up like uh, uh, a custom link for Ombi, or you can add it to like your website or YouTube channel or anything. I'm just gonna add it to like a YouTube channel, uh, to like the YouTube's website, let's just do it. So I'm gonna paste that into a new tab. Oh no, I didn't mean to search it. Let's just open a new tab. Uh, yeah, let's just paste it in here. So what I'm doing now is basically just I'm editing the website URL and the button's name. So you can just change that, uh, uh, change the click me and the website, and you should have the same results. Okay, come on. Where's the, where's the website URL? 
there we go so let's just change this to um uh, https and youtube.com it should be perfect okay let's just take this and uh, we're going to be pasting that in notepad plus plus right after that comma and then we're going to save this i think we need administrative permission so let's just grant it administrative permission and done there we go so let's just save it now and done there we go so now we should have a custom link in our sidebar let's just check that out really quick uh, login tech and my password sidebar there we go so we have a link to youtube and there we go youtube opens perfect so i don't need to display anymore let's just open it uh, open that file back up again to change the title of our web page again this thing is in the guide and uh, what we're looking for is basically a, a, a javascript tag called document dot uh, document uh, title is equal to jellyfin which will uh, we want to search this and uh, let's search it in notepad plus plus and search oh shit i copied it as a whole the two separate elements sorry so uh, let's just take this and we're going to be copying this and find there so we found it we're going to change that jellyfin to uh, techflix or whatever you want i'm using techflix you can use whatever you want you can use techflix something like uh I don't know Dreamflix or Cityflix or Netflix or you can even create just Netflix you can just put Netflix in there because I hope this is going to be private and you're not doing any copyrighted stuff uh, and type like selling the service so uh, because if you're doing that you're actually giving open source software a really bad name and that actually demoralizes the developers and everybody around that and uh, uh, type of like the same way that like a perfectly legitimate software that is used for some shady thing becomes like a shady software so that is the same thing that will happen to jellyfin so i hope you aren't doing any of that so let's just change it to techflix okay i don't think that got saved i'm gonna have to search up that title again uh, oh, I changed it, so let's just like remove the techflix part and there, so yes, I didn't complete it, that would have caused a great mix. Let's just add the X and give the administrator permission to save this file. Okay, great. So now the final thing that we need to do is edit the index.html file to change the title of the page. So, control F. Uh, put in the like uh, uh, the tip, like I don't know what you call the sign. You know that sign that you uh, we do greater than equal to then. You want to put the greater to sign and then title and then equal uh, lesser than sign and uh, you'll find it. So just change that jellyfin with techflix and you should be good to go. Say give permission again and done. Perfect. Okay, let's just open up our server now. Great, so let's log in. You can see that the logos change. You can see the down uh, the login disclaimer over there. And uh, let's go into our dashboard. Uh, actually, let's see this link. See, the link works perfectly. And uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please subscribe. And that would be much appreciated. Thank you.